Find the gifts Dad craves at Lowe's. Right now, you can save on select Skill Power Core 12 tools that feature 25% longer runtime and have patented cooling technology. Save $10 off the Skill Power Core 12 brushless drill driver kit, now just $59.98. Or upgrade Dad's toolbox and save $30 on the five tool brushless combo kit, now just $169. There's nothing sweeter than Father's Day at Lowe's. Offer valid 6 9 through 6 while supplies last. Selection varies by location. The future will be amazing, and that's all well and good. But what about today? You can feel the rush of a 400-horsepower Nissan Z. Or climb to new heights in the all-terrain Nissan Frontier. Light up the road in the all-electric Nissan Aria that feels like a sci-fi dream come true. The future will be great, but today is made for thrill. All you have to do is get in a Nissan and drive. 2023 Aria and Z not yet available for purchase. Expected availability is this spring for 2023 Z and this fall for 2023 Aria. What's up? It's your boy, the Ben Smith. Thanks for listening to the Men's Room Daily Podcast. Want more? Check out the greatest podcast in all the land, the podcast. Be sure to subscribe and listen to a brand new episode every Tuesday night. Point nine KISW. Appreciate it, Megs. They're doing some good this year. They've teamed up with the Washington State Council Firefighters and Operation Warm this holiday season. Why? To put new coats on kids that are in need. 20 bucks. That's all it takes. It'll put a brand new coat on a Washington State child in need. Uh, by the way, if you head to KISW.com and you uh, donate, you can also see the lovely Christmas video. That's right. And Christmas tune from the uh, KISW holiday yeah. players. Our version ten, of, ten, ten. Look, of well, Father Christmas, which is amazing. When people just hear you saying, sure, they got things to say, but... I was, based on the texts and emails I've seen, when they watch the video and see you do it, they're 100% behind you. All right. Because they're like, dude, yeah. he's into it. And you're like, right. But when they just hear it, they're like, what is this? Right? You just can't see how cool my shirt is. But I was chilly in that studio, Miles. I could have used a jacket. Coast for Kids presented by KISW and our friends at Palace Law. Please give what you can now and uh, and help out those kids. Uh, KISW.com. If you can donate, uh, give what uh, whatever you have. All right. The game is Big Dummy 206 421 Rock. Steve, who is our next contestant, ready to play the big game. Hello, Ken. Welcome to the men's room. Hola, gentlemen. Hola. Ken, are you sober or not sober? I'm about 10 minutes away from not being sober. Yeah. Well, it would be cool if you said that, right? They pull you over for whatever. Maybe you swerved in the land and they say, are you, have you had anything to drink? And you go, like, in 10 minutes, I'm going to get effed up. Mm-hmm. Right now, I'm sober. Just because you asked. Right? Uh, who would you uh, say people are, who would say you are at the holiday party, Ken? Are you the stone guy, drunk guy, inappropriate subject guy, or the antisocial guy? I've embarrassed my wife so many times with just taking jokes way too far, so I'm very inappropriate. Okay. Here's the thing the wives don't get. A lot of times you are so embarrassed by us, it's intentional. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's like I know it's going to make you uncomfortable. That's why I said this to your boss. All right there, Ken, here is your question. A man by the name of Joaquin Guzman is better known as who? Joaquin Guzman. Uh, I have no idea. Let's go with Daredevil. That's El Chapo. That is El Chapo. El Chapo. Yeah. Joaquin Guzman. By the way, Ted, do you know what El Chapo means? Uh, Actually, I it, looked it up. Is I'm it like, pudgy or something or short? Wow. See, he'd have shot you for pudgy. No, no, no. Sorry. <laughs> it was for short, not pudgy. Uh, yeah, El Chapa, he was 5'6". Yeah. So they called him basically the short or shorty. It just stuck. And Yeah, you see it uh, in Narco season three. He he shows up a lot more because it's I, all about Mexico. I think if he were pudgy, it would have been what, El Gordo? You're right. And I have, Don't slip up, man. Yep. yep. What happened to Ted? He called him El Gordo, bro. That was it. All right, Ken, question number two for you. In the computer world, what does the abbreviation CPU stand for? It's a processing unit. Um, let's go with computer processing unit. Ah, central? central? Central processing central. unit, yeah. Son of a- hey, don't feel bad, man. I, I had no idea when I looked it up. I'm like, well, I'll be goddamn. That makes sense. All right, question number three. What is the first day of Lent called? Uh, that would be Ash Wednesday, correct? Nice. Ah, that is correct. Yeah, nice job. I nice was job. wholly unaware of Ash I'm just not religious, right? There was Fat Tuesday. I understood the people partied. I knew Lent was Lent. I did not recognize what Ash Wednesday was in, in all the days after that. And I remember going to work. And a chick I worked with, she had the ash on her head, but it was no longer in the shape of the cross just from working. 
And I just thought it was awful. So she's talking to me, and there's just this black smudge on her head. So she kind of finished saying what she had to say. I was like, man, you you got something on your forehead. And she's like, dude, it's Ash Wednesday. Still did not mean anything to me, all right? I'm like, so you just walk around with a smudge on your head. Okay, dirty girl, whatever. Then, like, three more people I work with, they all have smudges on their heads. Finally, I had to pull one guy aside. I'm just like, hey, listen, man, I heard it's Ash Wednesday. He's like, yeah. And I'm like, and everyone, like, shows up to work dirty. He's like, Jesus Christ, dude, we're not dirty. And then he explained it to me. I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Pun that intended? Sense. Jesus Christ. There was no pun intended, but I'm glad I said that. I just, I had no idea. And if you don't know, it's just a weird, weird day of the week. Actually, one of the weirdest experiences I had, it was Halloween. But I'm an adult, so I'm, and I'm single. I don't have kids. I'm not thinking of Halloween. And I'm on the subway in Baltimore, and it's a typical subway ride. And this dude gets on the subway, and it is a, a spectacular replica, but it's like the black uh, Spider-Man outfit. Not Venom, but Spider-Man, but like the black outfit. And he gets on, and no one bats an eye at this guy except me. Obviously, everyone else remembers it's Halloween. I'm just not tracking. He sits across from me, and he's just sitting there like a regular dude. You know, he's mm-hmm. just kind of crouched in the chair, and I'm like... I, and I'm trying to make eye contact with people that are dressed normal. Like, right, you're seeing this, right? Like, and everyone just looks completely indifferent. I'm like, what the hell? And this is like four stops. And I'm just going through my head like, obviously, this mother effer is crazy. He's going to shoot everyone on this goddamn train. I can't believe no one cares. And then a group of little <laughs> kids get on and they're all dressed up, you know, witches, ghosts. And I'm like, oh, God, that's right. It's Halloween. All right. It's a regular day in Seattle. Yeah. Game is Big Dummy, 206-421-ROCK. Big Dummy! Hello, Justin. Welcome to the men's room. Oh, no, no, no. oh ah. Justin, you on Team Sober, Team Not Sober today? Uh, team Sober. All right, Justin, welcome to the show. I'm Big Dummy. Okay. Who would people say you are at the holiday party, Justin? Stone guy, drunk guy, inappropriate subject guy, or antisocial guy? Uh, I'd probably be drunk guy. Drunk guy? Drunk guy. Okay. I will say, holiday parties is one, that's a few, one of the few parties... At any time of year, where almost everybody drinks more than usual. Absolutely, I don't. I don't know how that happened, but but you're absolutely correct. Like, there's also the, the assumption that we're going to have a holiday party, and when you leave, you're going to be hammered. Yeah, unless you said you're the DD, right? All right, there, Justin. Here is your question: Which is the only of the seven dwarfs who is openly gay? I'm sorry, I read that wrong. Which is the only of the seven dwarfs without a beard? <laughs> Oh, um, uh, what's his name? Dopey? Dopey. Huh. You hear that, clean shaven guys? Yeah. Okay. You're dopey. You know, it's the longest beard. Oh, crap. Okay. Uh, Doc? No, I thought it was Doc 2. It is not Doc. I just saw it today. Sleepy. It is sleepy. Sleazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah sleazy. sleazy. I still like sleazy. Big dummy! Hello, Brian. Welcome to the men's room. Hello. Hola. 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 Ryan, are you sober or not sober? I am on my second Miller Lite, not sober. Okay. Oh boy. You're easy. Hey. By the way, by the way, Caster Canadensis for you guys. What's that? Caster Canadensis. What is that? The giant American beaver. Ca- oh, that's the actual name for it, the Caster. <laughs> I'm going to say it the next time I'm with the prostitute. <laughs> oh, Caster Canadensis. <laughs> yeah. I got lost in some. Yeah. <laughs> Brian, who would the people say you are at the holiday party? Stone guy, drunk guy, inappropriate subject guy, or antisocial guy? Uh, I'd have to go with drunk and salt the boss guy. Okay. Man, it sounds like you're planning on it. It's happened before. I'm shocked. I think it's better to plan insulting the boss. That way you know the words to use and not use, right? Because when you just fly off in the moment, maybe you say the wrong thing. But at least if you know, like, the key burns you want to get in there, you'll be all right. Or you get yeah, fired. you guys may recall I called in before I insulted his sweater and his dead mother made it. Oh, God, that's right. I do remember yeah. that, man. Yeah, I would try to back away from that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you know what, man? Let's yeah. be fair. You insulted the sweater because the sweater was ugly, correct? Absolutely. Right. And he say, hey, man, my mother died and she made this for me. And you go, okay, I understand the point you're making. It doesn't make the sweater less ugly. It's no, still it an ugly sweater. That's all. That's all. <laughs> He was already gone. He wasn't even obligated to wear it any longer. That's a good point. Because at that point, now you just have bad taste. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Here is your question. How many sides does a heptagon have? Oh, come on, man. Eight. 
That's an octagon. That's an octagon, yeah. Oh, oh come dude. on, man. They don't fight yeah. they don't fight in the heptagon. The heptagon has That's seven right. sides. Seven <laughs> sides. I already question. Is the cucumber a fruit, a vegetable, or a nightshade? I should know this. Let's go with uh, it's got seeds. Let's go nightshade. There you go. No, it's a, oh, it's it's a fruit. fruit. It's a fruit. It's a fruit. But the seeds it's are on the inside. So you can think about it this way. Does this, that make this, it a nightshade? This, this is how you know. I, I just I, learned I don't this. know. If but. it starts from a flower. And the vegetable grows out of the flower. In other words, there's a reason that a tomato uh, has that little top part on it where it grew out of the flower. Yeah. All right. Okay, same with a cucumber. If you see like a squash. Oh, anything, so that's a fruit. Those giant uh, flowers that pop up, the yellow ones. Yeah, yeah. Pumpkin, same thing. Pumpkin, yeah. All pumpkin. right. Those are all fruits. But tomatoes are nightshades. Well, it's, it's also a fruit. a fruit. All right, so is the question, can fruits be nightshades? Maybe. I don't know that. Ted, I might ask that next week. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. On Big Dumb. <laughs> That's my way of saying This is like a pretty... <laughs> Google shade. that for me. I don't know because... A nightshade right. is a plant related to the potato, typically having poisonous black or red berries. Several kinds of nightshade have been used in the production of herbal medicines. But I thought Tom Brady's whole thing about not eating anything that had seeds inside was a nightshade. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. That's, why, like, that's why, like... Based programming, though. Seeds that's on the why, inside is one of the defining <laughs> traits of a fruit, I thought. I think it's one of the defining traits, but I don't know if that's what guarantees that. So the pit of an avocado, is that a seed? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Okay, so that, all right. There you go. However, a a strawberry has it on the outside. On the outside, right. I'm so confused. All right, here's your question. I love that Mike always knows the answers to these. On the television show South Park, Butters wrote a sequel to the book Scrody McBoogerballs called (laughs) A Poop That Took a What? (laughs) <laughs> oh, man, you're killing me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the follow-up to Scrody McBooger Balls is called A Poop That Took a What? <sighs> Meal. Crap. No, the follow-up to Scrody McBooger Balls would be A Poop That Took a Pee. Oh. When oh I was writing God. this question... I said it to Mike. Not only did Mike answer, he then explained to me the entire episode. You didn't see that one, Miles? You didn't know the sequel? They had a, they had there, like a, there was a number of years where I didn't get Comedy Central. They had like a CNN special where Morgan Freeman read the entire book <laughs> just on the special. Nice. Well, uh, nice. The poop that took a pee? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Brilliant. Question number five, Brian. Question number five. What rock group was behind the mud shark incident at Seattle's Edgewater Inn in 1969? Uh, Oh, that would be one of the greatest bands in history, Led Zeppelin. There you go. You are correct. Nice work, nice work. Game is Big Dummy 206-421-ROCK. Who is our next contestant ready to play the big game? Wait, Mike, are you unfamiliar with the Mud Shark incident? I am. Really? Mm, yeah. Mm. Uh, legend has it. It's before my time, you know. Legend has it that they were staying down at the edge water and they had a room on the water. Okay. Someone decided to take out a uh, fishing pole and do a little fishing. All right. The strange part about it is they claim they caught some type of shark. Mm-hmm. A mud, sure shark. A, a mud shark. A mud shark, right? That, this, yeah. And keep in mind, this is this is all an oral history. There is no confirmation either from the band or right. anyone involved whether or not this is true. And they, right. uh, or, used the, uh, they used the mud shark when they brought it in uh-huh. uh, with some of the people that were partying in the room with them, if that makes any sense. Oh, I see. Yes. Supposedly. Are, did they not have teeth? I don't You've seen know. Them. They, yeah. Oh, like, yeah, been, yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha. Just, the rumor was that the mud shark <laughs> ended up, uh, as we like to say during profile, this on the inside of something. I see. Yes. Yeah. Not to be confused with the Beatles' room at the same hotel where they were just fishing. Yes. I'm telling you, Mike. Google it. Read it. You you will be stunned. Hello, Sam. Welcome to the men's room. Hola. 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 Sam, are you sober? Not sober. Sober. I'm driving to PA, so. Okay, Sam. Nice work. You're driving to Pennsylvania right now? No, Port Angeles. Oh. Oh, damn. (laughs) Jesus, God. (laughs) A little bit closer to home. Well, in the the East Coast, no one says Pennsylvania. It's just PA. PA is Pennsylvania. Yeah, so. All right, Sam. Who would people say you are at the holiday party? Stone guy, drunk guy, inappropriate subject guy, or antisocial guy? Antisocial. Antisocial. I'm usually stuck in a corner somewhere. All right. 
You sound fun. Uh, by the way, I've been corrected. Uh, the question I asked before this on South Park, uh, Butters wrote the sequel to Scorty McBoogerballs called A Poop That Took a What, which was a poop that took a pee. Someone corrected me. It is, in fact, the poop yeah. that took a pee, not A. I apologize for hey, the confusion. Sam, I know you're going to Port Angeles, but do you know, is there, what's like a, di- what's a bar a guy like me would like in Port Ludlow? <laughs> no idea. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Port Ludlow? Yeah. Yeah, it's a town on the way out there. No, I've heard of it. I yeah, just... I'm, I'm cruising. Here I'm cruising. and there, I'm not really familiar with anything. Okay. All right, I'm cruising through it this weekend. So I was like, it's got to be like, I'm looking for like a tavern, like a place that like barely sells food. Here's some chips. <laughs> I'm looking for a place that barely sells food. All right. Yeah. I get the feeling people will let you know. Yeah, like a drinking mm-hmm. bar. All right, Sam, here is your question of the 88 keys on the piano. How many of them are black? Yeah. <laughs> um, like 77. Yeah. I don't know, 54. I'm going to say 33. Mike, you are the closest. 36. Damn. 36 yeah, yeah. of the key. The black keys, by the way, are either flat or sharps. All of the white keys are just the, the natural band. Okay. Yeah, the black keys was a better band, too. I was a little shocked when I saw them the first time. <laughs> it is a good band. They're a very good band, and I'd heard the name, even I heard the music. I'm like, oh, all right, man. I'm like, oh, there's two white dudes. Okay, that's bad. I didn't see that coming. White stripes in the other hand. I'm like, exactly what I expected. Have you seen the Black Crows? Black Crows, Black Sabbath, like what the hell is going on mm-hmm. here? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can get really bad, but I'm, I'm not going to. I'm trying to think of a group that has white in the name, but it's all... There is none. There's black dudes. There's not. Barry White. I mean, there was Barry White. White. (laughs) But you can say White Snake, White Lion, White, Great White. Mm -hmm. Like, White Snakes and White, Black can go both places, but if you're black, it's like black. There was a go-go band in D.C., and they had a member just named White Boy. (laughs) Oh, God damn. It's great if he was black. They didn't even give him his name. Just like, yeah, you're White Boy. All right. All right, here is your question, Sam. What science fiction writer... Developed a series of ethics for robotics known as the Laws of Robotics. I have no idea. I know I should know that. It's very hard to read, but I have no idea. I'm going to say... Carl Sagan? No. And I want to say, as they develop robots and AI, they actually try to apply this science fiction writer's laws to the things that they developed. So it was Isaac Asimov. Asimov. Right. And so the, there are three laws. Robot shall not harm a human. All right. Robot shall obey human instruction and robot shall avoid actions or situations that cause it to harm itself. So as they develop AI and robotics and all that crap now, they're like, yeah, they're actually pretty solid. And Miles, white boy was a black dude. I don't know why they called him. Are you boy. serious? Yeah. <laughs> Andre, white boy Johnson. Okay. All right. R.I.P. All right, Sam, here is your question. Constantinople served as the capital of what empire? Hmm. Ottoman Empire? Damn! Nice Sam work. with a big old brain. More Big Dummy coming up if you'd like to be a contestant. 206-421-ROCK. This Father's Day, refresh Dad's tool collection with the sweetest brands like Cobalt at Lowe's. Right now, you can buy one select Cobalt 24-volt max kit and get one select Cobalt bear tool free, up to a $139 value. The gift of powering Dad's summer projects is priceless. Shop Lowe's in-store or online today to make it happen. While supplies last, about 5 2 through 7 31. The future will be amazing, and that's all well and good. But what about today? You can feel the rush of a 400-horsepower Nissan Z. Or climb to new heights in the all-terrain Nissan Frontier. Light up the road in the all-electric Nissan Aria that feels like a sci-fi dream come true. The future will be great, but today is made for thrill. All you have to do is get in a Nissan and drive. 2023 Aria and Z not yet available for purchase. Expected availability is this spring for 2023 Z and this fall for 2023 Aria. Take the next step toward the career you want, be it business, cybersecurity, healthcare, or more. UMGC can help you get there. No application fee when you apply by August 31st. Visit umgc.edu. Certified to operate by Chev. Your home equity. It could be an untapped opportunity instead of an untouchable asset. 
Introducing HomeTap. HomeTap is an investor, not a lender. They give you cash in exchange for a share of your home's future value. Use it to pay off debt, make renovations, fund a business, or just live a better life. There's no interest or monthly payments to worry about. HomeTap. Get more from home ownership. Get more from life. Subject to eligibility, terms and conditions apply. Visit HomeTap.com to apply in minutes. That's HomeTap.com. The men's room is in progress. Game is Big Dummy 206 421 Rock. Big Dummy! Hello, Kristen. Welcome to the men's room. Hola! Hola! Hola. Kristen, sober, not sober. Um, I got a few bowls in by now waiting, so I was not whatever when I called. Okay. But now I'm good. Kristen, how was your Hanukkah? Um, <laughs> Yeah, it, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing any of that. Who would people say you are at the holiday party? Stone guy, drunk guy, inappropriate subject guy, or antisocial guy? I definitely say stone guy. Stone guy it is. I believe you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Out there, Christian. Here is your question. Multiple choice. What breed of cat is tailless? What breed of cat is tailless? Is it Persian, Manx, Sphinx, or Munchkin? Oh... Um, the munchkin? No, the munchkin cat Lynx? is tiny, like the name says. Not lynx, but sphinx, but the answer is manx. Oh. The manx um, it has no tail. Yeah, brother, I don't like no manx cat. <laughs> mm. Well, okay. Do the next one. What is it? <laughs> yeah, throw, hurry up. Christian, yeah, you okay? Bad. Sorry, we're wasting your time. Boy. Yeah. No. Oh, no, I'm just ready. He's ready, man. He's oh, ready antsy to go. for a stoner. He needs more what? weed. Mm-hmm. All right, here's your oh. question. Which villain did Michael Shannon play in the 2013 movie The Man of Steel? What, uh, was he Hitler? So close. So close. He was not Hitler. He was General Zod. Mm. Uh, Both military guys. Yeah, I mean, okay. yeah, sure. Mm. All right, I'm probably going to say this wrong, but I don't care. What type of meat are you asking for if you ask for jambin in French? You go to France and they say the sandwich comes with jambin. Um, is, is that a, a pig meat? It's ham, on. right? Nice job. It is a fact. And by the way, I was trying to eat a uh, ham and brie sandwich on French bread earlier today. Ooh, well, excuse me. Yeah, I'm... it should be noted. Uh, that I was at the dentist this morning, they numbed up my mouth, all right? All right. So the right bottom jaw, the right side of my bottom jaw, completely numb, no pain, nothing like that. I could still talk all of these things. And uh, first of all, when I sat down, the dentist says, hey, we're going to numb up your mouth. I hope you don't have a lot of talking to do later. I looked at her and said, that is exactly what I plan on doing today, mm-hmm. is talking a whole lot. It was fine. I wore off by 2 o'clock when we hit the air, but I had been warned by my wife. She said, look... Don't chew the inside of your mouth. And I'm like, why would I do that? And I don't normally chew the inside of my mouth. Well, I tried to eat this uh, sandwich on the French bread, so you're really uh, grinding through there. I wipe my mouth. There's blood all over my napkin. I go, oh, yeah, I chewed the living hell mm-hmm. out of the inside of my mouth. Mm-hmm. Well, French bread will do that to you. I did not realize that was happening. I told Miles I was trying to smoke a cigarette. I could not get it in my mouth. Like, I couldn't tell if it was in my mouth because I can't feel my mouth. So I keep just like banging my face with the cigarette. Then I realize the security guard that works the building is now staring out the glass at me. And I'm like, I, I he, look like a junk. I knew he was on drugs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, wait, was a bad wait to see it. Uh-huh. Hello, Josh. Welcome to the men's room. Oh, hola. 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 Josh, are you on team sober, team not sober? Team sober. Welcome to the show, Josh and Big Dummy. Okay, our men's room poll. Who would people say you are at the holiday party? Are you stone guy, drunk guy, inappropriate subject guy, or antisocial guy? Uh, mixture of two of them, but probably more of the stone guy. Stone guy. Okay. I'm going to guess the other mixture would hey. be antisocial guy. Hey, look, man. Nothing oh, yeah. wrong with being stone guy, though. Because there's plenty of cookies. Oh, no, not that. I'm saying, dude, would people think you're the antisocial guy? Because it's not that you're being antisocial, you're just stoned. Uh, every once in a while, that will t- kind of tend to happen. I'll just kind of chill in the corner, and next thing you know, it's like, mm-hmm. oh. Crap. So you should tell people, hey, hey, I'm not being into social. I'm just baked out of my mind, guys. I always look for that guy who's got the tray of something. Like, what's he got on there? Mm-hmm. Bring it over my way. All right, Josh, here is your question. In the film Saving Private Ryan, by the way, uh, looking ahead to Dirty Big Dummy, there is a movie called Saving Ryan's Privates. 
There is. It's on the list. Oh, is it? Yes. Okay, I know that one. Uh, But in the film Saving Private Ryan, who played the role of Private Ryan? Oh, Matt Damon. (laughs) Matt Damon. That is correct. You know what the irony of that is? I guess uh, whoever directed was that Spielberg? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Spielberg specifically picked Matt Damon to play the role because he wasn't a particularly popular actor. He was or he was not. He was he not. He was not. So he's like, look, that particular role, I just wanted to give it, you know, you got Tom Hanks, right? Okay. He's a juggernaut. So he's like, ah, let's get someone who no one knows. So he picked Matt Damon, which at the time was kind of true. But since then, it's like, yeah, yeah. he's done all right for himself. Game is Big Dummy, 206-421-ROCK. Big Dummy! Mm, hello, Rachel. Welcome to the men's room. Hola. 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 Rachel, are you sober or not sober? Sober. Sober Rachel. So bad. Welcome to the program. Welcome to Big Dummy. All right, Rachel, are you uh, the stone person, drunk person, inappropriate subject person, or the antisocial person at the party? Um, I have to say I'm the antisocial. Antisocial Rachel. Really? Nice to meet you. Uh, <laughs> I'm just, uh, it takes me a while to warm up to people. <laughs> Even like co workers that you already, so it's, the, it's, the, it's your work Christmas party, right? It, you know these people, all the rest. Are you still kind of like, eh, I'll take 20 minutes before I talk to your ass? Yeah. So you're not so you're, you're not a hugger, are you? Uh, no, I am. Okay. When, when I when I get comfortable with people, but I usually hold people at arm's length just until I know how they're going to treat me back. I see. Okay. That's, uh, not a, that's not a bad way to roll. What if I walk no. up to you and say, Rachel, hey, my name's Thrill. I'm going to treat you poorly. At least we know. Can we start a conversation then? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just checking. All right, Rachel, here is your question. And this blew my I, I realize I had no idea the answer to this, but I feel like I should. What is the name of the candy company that manufactures Peeps? Um, Peeps. I used to stock candy, so I should know this. Mm-hmm. I, I want to say it's Mars. Not only did I not know the answer, I'd never heard of this company. Ted, any guesses? You're probably the the biggest peep sympathist, I, sympathizer. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I don't know. Nobody does, right? Peeps got every Easter. It's all you hear about, different flavors, blah, blah, blah. The name of the company that manufactures peeps is Just Born. Just Born. Ah. Just Born. All right, well, that makes sense because it's peeps. Right, it, right. Well, Easter, okay. it makes all the what sense. What was the name of the company that did the egg dye? Oh, wait, wait. Uh, right, like in the box, yes. you got the little... Yes. Egg that's, egg they said the that's all they did, right? Right, because they said the name of it, you know, every Easter. Like, it wasn't just egg dye. Was it, it was Paws? Or- Paws or Pons? One of the two, I think. Bear Paz? Paz. Is it Paz? I think so. For Paz over. P-A-A-S. Paz. 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 Okay. All right. All right, all right Rachel. All right. Here's your question. What process emulsifies the fat in milk? Oh my goodness! Um, I have no clue. I'll just say pasteurization, not pasteurization. It what? is homogenization. Homogenization. Oh. I want to say pasteur, and, and don't quote me on this because people will anyway. I believe that gets rid of like the harmful stuff. Like basically, you get rid of the whatever pathogens and all the mm-hmm. stuff that might be in there. But yeah, homogenization emulsifies the fat milk. All right, Rachel, your question: What fictional pirate commanded the Jolly Roger? I fictional, got... fictional, huh? Mm-hmm. See, half the time I'm not sure about what the actual pirate is in history compared to what we think. You know, like and that's how they want Redbeard, Blackbeard, like all these guys. I'm not. Sh- I think they were pirates, so that's not fictional. Could it? Who? Uh, sorry. Is this from, like, the book that, like, Moby Dick? No pirates no, he, in Moby Dick. He was not in Moby Dick, no. Captain Ahab. Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay. Um, Jolly Roger. I, I thought that was dude's name. I did until maybe ten years ago. It's also the flag. Mm-hmm. It's Colin Crossbones. Which feels very jolly. Is it? Oh, uh, give us a, a, a fictional pirate name. Um, the only thing I can come up with is from SpongeBob. Is, is who? 
is from SpongeBob SquarePants. Uh, we'll go ahead and spin that wheel. Is it Captain Hook? It is Captain Hook. Oh, right. no. <laughs> All right. Yes, no S said. Yes, Captain Hook, the Jolly Roger. Why don't you say that? Of course it is. Mike, let me ask you this question. I don't know if you know the answer. And right, the, the, the standard pirate flag, it's the skull and crossbones. We know that to be the Jolly Roger flag. Right. Was the Jolly Roger flag first or Captain Hook's ship? First? I would imagine the flag came first. I'll do some research on okay. that. I don't. Yeah, know. I'm just curious. Well, the, the flag is probably based on. I would say, do we name the flag after the ship because Captain Hook and Peter Pan and all that crap is very popular, or do we just name the boat the Jolly Roger? Because that's what the flag is hmm. called. Okay, chicken or the egg, Miles. That's what I'm looking for. Question four. Question number four. What did college basketball introduce in 1987? Cool kids are doing. That. I know. I don't. I got to make sure. <laughs> I'm not. You know, that. I was born in '89, so I have absolutely no clue. Okay, don't rub it in because I'm 20 years older than you. Three point line. The three point <laughs> shot. That is correct. And Rachel, the next year, they decided to put it in all of basketball. Right. So they put it in high school as well. And I'll never forget our coach. If any one of you <laughs> tries to take a three point shot, your ass is on the bench. We don't do that. <laughs> not just some crazy guy. Now they tell you the opposite. What do you got, Mike? Looks like the Jolly Roger flag dates back all the way uh, back to the 1700s, mm-hmm. whereas the story of Peter Pan is relatively recent compared to all that. So I believe okay. that the flag yeah. came first. We're going to play in this one three one. We're going to pick and roll all day. You know what I'm saying, Smith? Yeah. I mean, I get your coach was probably scared. But oh, my God. Shooter's got to shoot. That's right. Shoot through That's it. That's what he said. All right, Rachel, this is not an official question. This will not count against your score here. But the question is, how did the Prophet Muhammad like his pie? How did the Prophet Muhammad... <laughs> is it a joke? Yes, it is. <laughs> How did the Prophet... My God. <laughs> I have no clue. The Prophet Muhammad liked his pie a la mode. Get it? <laughs> he likes ice cream. Yeah. We're still on question five. <laughs> Sorry, I saw that and I'm like, I can't resist. That was so stupid. All right, question number five for you. What mountain overlooks Whoville? Hmm. In other words, where does the Grinch live? Oh, my goodness. I love this movie. I can't think of it. Come on. Great snack with tea. I'm sorry, what? It's a great snack with tea. Very traditional snack with tea. That's more accurate. Cucumber sandwich mountain? (laughs) (laughs) That seems weird. Oh, my gosh. Come on, man. It's Christmas time. You know it's going to start airing again. I told Miles the other day, I literally, I get into work. The first thing I do is walk into the little store downstairs, and they play Christmas music. But when I walked in, they're playing, you're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. But the line literally is, I step in, you just hear, you're a monster, Mr. Grinch. (laughs) Like, wow. Okay, let's see what kind of day this is going to be. That store had a big day, selling out items. Uh, stuff she's had forever. The is answer, it uh, Mount Crumpet? It is Mount Crumpet, Rachel. Yeah. Mount Crumpet. Oh Mount Crumpet. It's going on the uh, hint oh, there from crumpet. Mike. <laughs> Dump it to Crumpet. I don't think I've ever had one of those. Neither have I. Crumpet? Yeah, I don't even know what it is because I've never had tea and crumpets. Before. Just small pastry. Yeah, oh. hey, that's oh. it. Okay. Is it a specific pastry or is it just a it reference to any small pastry that you have? No, you a crumpet know. is a specific thing. Okay. It's. I think it's somewhere between like hardness of a cookie, but it's not quite. But it's not as soft as a donut. I think I know what you're talking about. Right. As a child, you're disappointed one way or another. So it's a small griddle bread made from an unsweetened batter of water or milk, flour, and yeast. God forbid you sweeten it, England. Jesus. It's kind of like a pancake. Yeah. All right, Rachel, here is your question. Grits. Grits are typically made from what grain? Hmm. Mm-mm. I want to say corn, but that's not a grain. I think you should say corn. Corn? There you go. There you go. All right. There you go. Very nice work. <laughs> she was right there. Like, nah, I can't do it. Dummy. Hello, Tyler. Welcome to the men's room. Hola. 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 Tyler, are you sober or not sober? I am sober just a little bit longer. All right. I'm sorry, man. Welcome to the show, Big Dummy. Mm-hmm. 
Who would people say you are at the holiday party, Tyler? Stone guy, drunk guy, inappropriate subject guy, or antisocial guy? Uh, probably the stone guy. Stone guy. All right. Yeah. All right there, Stone Tyler. Here is your question. The Last Supper mural originally included which body part of Christ that has since been removed? Get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> That's right where it straight went. <laughs> well, of course, you can say this body part was exposed to the painting. It's been removed. I mean, your general thought hey, was he's showing these mashed potatoes aren't going to stir themselves. <laughs> was he hanging brain? No, he was not hanging brain. It's from later on in the night. Yeah. That's after he turned the water into wine. What is, I don't know what his hand. His feet. Hmm. Oh. Apparently, he had hammer toes. <laughs> Made people uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, question number two for you: What is Daniel's last name in the Karate Kid movies and on the TV show Cobra Kai? Man, it's perfect in every way. He's got a hammer toe. <laughs> I can't win them all, man. Um. Daniel Chan? Russo. Daniel LaRusso. It is La Ru It is La Russo. A oh, crap. Hey. Yeah, I'm bombing it. Yeah, La Russo. You're not just Google it, Ted. Just Google it because you give me that look that says I don't believe you. And now you're making me question my answer. You might be right, but I'm pretty sure it's Daniel La Russo, which means the Russo. All right, your question. Multiple choice. What is a group of otters called? A float? A raft? Alert Seattle from Seattle Police and Fire. If you cannot connect to Seattle 911, please call 206 583 2111 206 625 5011 or text 911 only for emergencies. Then with your fiance in yeah. bed, right? You think she's going to fall out of that bed? Yes. No, but he's cuddling. What I'm saying is the otters, it's like, look how cute they are. They hold hands when they sleep, like, so they don't die. They don't want to right. die. If you hold hands while you sleep, that is cuddling. Look, I'm a, I'm a cuddler, so I know the cuddle rules. Right. You think otters, like, why do you think this is cute, man? We and don't want to, this survival. But, but, to, but to butt ain't cuddling. No, that's how I sleep. Oh. And it's also not I'll like they're going to float away on, like, rapids inside of two minutes. They're, they're going to fall asleep for several hours, man. They're going to float quite a ways away. Hey, Miles, I don't want to say anything about your love life or, uh... Thing with the ladies, but you can do you can cuddle a lot of places, not just the bed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. How Watching many times, a movie, you cuddle up on the couch. How many times do you think otters wake up after a night's sleep? Like, ah, oh, crap, dude, where's Gary? <laughs> right, you go to bed. There's eight of you holding hands. Right, you wake up. There's six left. <laughs> that, or do you ever wake up? Or is it like the end of the night? And it's like, damn it, Sheila, I gotta hold her hand. Man, why she was end up on my side, man? <laughs> <laughs> so who you got over there? <laughs> I ain't giving you Tanya, bro. She got sweaty palms. Yeah. Cold we're, ass hands. We're in the water. Yeah, come I'm on. I'm going to go sleep in the snow. We're in the water and your hands still seem abnormally wet. Mm. <laughs> Anybody ever told you you're swampy? <laughs> swampy Sheila the Otter. I can't believe that's not a children's character. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tyler, your Just question. Like Chuck. Swampy Chuck. In Britain, what kind of meat comes in rashers? Mm. They offer you rashers. This is the meat you get. You're, you're American. You love it. Yes, you do. Is, is, does it have four letters? Oh, does it start with a B and end with an F and have two E's in it, like beef? That is a long way to ask a question where my answer is no. Oh, so it must be pork. Yeah, specifically so, what kind of pork? Yeah. I didn't know there's different kinds of pork. I thought pork was just pork. There's, there's ham, ham. There's loin. There's right. pepperoni. Oh, shoulder, salami. Salami. Uh, bacon. Let's, let's go bacon. Let's go bacon. That's how you do it right there, Tyler. Very good. Didn't know there's different kinds mm. of it. Speaking of food, Head Chef is uh, coming up with the trendiest delivery foods of 2021. We'll see if bacon makes the list. You think brother just goes to a restaurant like, ah, give me the pork. Like, bacon. sir, we don't... What do you want? Pork. I, when I go to a steakhouse, I just ask for beef. Yeah, give me beef. <laughs>
<laughs> Emails coming up from the men's room at KISW.com. You are listening to the men's room. Visit Lowe's and take on the Pro Brand Challenge with the new Flex Stacked Lithium Battery. More power, longer battery life, and faster charging. Plus, it's compatible with all Flex 24 volt power tools. Right now, the more Flex 24 volt tools you buy, the more you'll save. Get up to $150 off today. Stop by or visit us online and see Flex exclusively at Lowe's. Dial 519 276. Savings vary based on purchase amount. Exclusive versus National Home Centers for Flex 24 volt, U.S. only. The future will be amazing, and that's all well and good. But what about today? You can feel the rush of a 400 horsepower Nissan Z. Or climb to new heights in the all-terrain Nissan Frontier. Light up the road in the all-electric Nissan Aria that feels like a sci-fi dream come true. The future will be great, but today is made for thrill. All you have to do is get in a Nissan and drive. 2023 Aria and Z not yet available for purchase. Expected availability is this spring for 2023 Z and this fall for 2023 Aria. Take the next step toward the career you want, be it business, cybersecurity, healthcare, or more. UMGC can help you get there. No application fee when you apply by August 31st. Visit umgc.edu. Certified to operate by Chev.